Hey guys, Devlin Hesslers here, competitive bodybuilder, coach, and personal trainer over here at Gym of the North. This is my intro to bodybuilding. My top four tips when it comes to focusing on lifting in the gym for bodybuilding. Tip number one, progressive overload is your best friend. What this means is you are gonna be doing the same workouts for quite a long period of time, but while you're doing these, every single week and every time that you come in and do that same workout, you're trying to get better at that exact exercise. To progressive overload properly, there's a few different ways that you could do this, but the most common is to rather add reps or add weight. Find yourself a comfortable rep range that you're gonna be trying to hit between, which some of these are gonna be like eight to 12. Once you hit that 12 rep range, you increase that weight that you're lifting and that should bring you down closer to between that eight to 10. And then you can work your way back up to that 12 and keep going from there. Now, one very important part when it comes to progressive overload is to not sacrifice form just to get that extra rep. Improving on form is another way of progressive overload as well. So as you're performing the exercises and you are progressively getting better and stronger, make sure your form is holding as well. Secondary tip when it comes to lifting in the gym for bodybuilding, take your sets to failure. And now this isn't just, oh, it burns so much, I can't hold the weight up anymore. This is actual mechanical failure to the point where you can't physically get another rep if you had to. Now, caution, I don't want you to take every single set to fit absolute failure because I don't want you to get hurt. Once you learn your body, the closer you get to failure will lead to more gains in the gym. Our goal here is to put on as much muscle as possible. And the only reps that actually count is those reps that are within close proximity of failure. Third tip, split your cardio up from your lifting sessions. Now it isn't completely detrimental to make sure that you aren't doing cardio because cardio is gonna kill your gains. But let me tell you, if you are doing your 20 to 30 minutes of cardio before your workout, you will not perform as well in that workout as you would have if you didn't. When you finish your workout, lifting weights in the gym, if you go straight from that to going on the cardio, you're going to actually remove a lot of that extra blood flow that is pumped into those muscle groups and you're gonna be back into your legs and flowing through the rest of your body. This isn't gonna be detrimental to your gains, but as I said before, if I'm gonna get a one, two, five, 10% benefit, I'm gonna go with that. So I do recommend splitting your cardio up from the rest of your lifting, rather earlier in the morning or later in the day if you can. Fourth tip when it comes to bodybuilding, we are not lifters. We are not strong men, we are not power lifters. We are here to try to put on as much muscle mass as possible. That being said, the majority of exercises that we choose to do should try to aim to hit one or two small muscle groups at a time. That is the best way to focus on putting all emphasis into that exact muscle. We aren't trying to sway. We aren't trying to utilize momentum. We want to make sure we are as stable as possible and that our entire focus is on the muscle group at hand. Now lastly, but absolute most important, you want to make sure that you are making significant gains in the gym there's no performance enhancing drug on the planet that is going to outperform proper sleep. Get yourself set up with a good bedtime routine. Try to see some sunlight in the evening when the sun is setting. And when you get up in the morning, try to make sure you are getting some bright sunlight to start your day. That is the best way to set your circadian rhythm. A few different good rules of thumb. Get off your phone and all screens a couple hours before bedtime. Make sure you're stopping work a couple hours before bedtime and you probably should eat roughly about an hour before bedtime as well. Have lights dim in the house, let everything kind of cool down, calm yourself, and make sure you get a good night's sleep. That, my friends, is our intro to bodybuilding. So I'm excited to see you down at the Gym of the North. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out.